What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video where we discuss a little bit of information for newcomers but also if you have been playing the game for a while you might get a couple of tips in here as well. So we're going to be talking about players that I definitely think you should sign and this part is for mostly newcomers, guys that are looking to build a squad. I've already done a video, a couple of videos on these. So we have the definitive newcomers guide. We also have a CFs for all budgets as well as every other position. We have loads of all the positions. I think we only have left the wingers left to do, but every other position is covered. So if you haven't watched those two videos yet, make sure and check those out before we crack on with this video, right? But for this video, we are going to be taking a look at players um, that will be coming in the future. We'll have a look at a preview of them as we do every Sunday. And also, I'm going to give you maybe three or four good players currently in the game that I think will beast for you and show you how I've trained them up and talk a little bit about the differences in gameplay, the manager boost and all that sort of stuff. So listen, a lot of this stuff, if you are a newcomer, might go over your head but it will make sense as you start to learn the game a little bit and the mechanics of the game, right? So firstly, we are going to discuss our first player, which is going to be uh, Bellingham, which a lot of people, this guy has really excited a lot of people. He is in the Elevate the Excitement new chapter nominating contract. So what does nominating contracts mean? Well, basically, you get these nominating contracts, which means you're able to sign a player for no GP or coins. You literally just sign the player. Now, we've already signed him. Um, as you can see there, we've already signed him and we've a couple of other players signed in this as well. But if you are looking to get, uh, you can see here on the right hand screen, you've got five and I've got three beside that. So I have actually got three five star nominating contracts. You can see the stars value on their card. So all of these cards are five stars. So they will take a five star, except this guy who we've bought for a four star. You can see the four star there. I would definitely 100% recommend Bellingham, but I would also recommend uh, Tierney. So we're going to go ahead here and actually get Tierney in real time. And I'm going to show you my ultimate training guide for him. I have him on my other profile as well. He's a monster. No, I have a beastly squad. I've been playing the game for a long time. But Tierney is a defensive beast if you train him right. But he's also, his most biggest strength is going to be his attack and awareness and his attack and ability. So you kind of have to defend with a right back, maybe wan or somebody like that. But he's an absolute machine, 33 levels to go, as you can see there, really nice player skills. And you can put a bit of time into him and invest a bit of time and player skills into him to turn him into a monster. If you are wondering how to get a nominating contract, you get them from the match pass. So all you have to do is continue to play the game and you will see here in the match pass after 15 matches, you get a five star nominating contract. If you buy the value or premium match passes, you will get further match, uh, five star nominating contracts in there. So potentially if you buy a value one, you're going to have three five star nominating contracts. You don't have to use them instantly. They last for a couple of uh, weeks. So make sure you keep an eye on the expired date of them, right? But if we're talking about two of those players, we're actually going to go over to eFootball DB here and show you their bills, right? So I'll take away my face cam here for this. Bellingham goes, this is a brilliant box-to-box -box build. I would say that when you are starting off, these are the players that I would recommend to sign, right? I would recommend to sign Bellingham now because it's still ongoing with the nominating contract. If you watch this video in a couple of weeks, obviously this won't apply to you. But Bellingham standard card is still a beast, but you can get this guy for free. He's on the form of his life with Real Madrid. I think he's 10 goals scored in 10 games or something crazy like that. He's averaging Ronaldo's record when he was at Real Madrid, his first 10 appearances or something like that I was reading. Excellent card. I know that he's down as a ho as a box to box, which I think is still his best position. He's got defense, he's got attack, he's got everything that you could possibly want. I would tweak around with the different builds that you have because you can still reset the players. The same with Tierney. You can get him for free on the nominating contract. If you want to just, you know, get one player, if you only have one nominating contract, I would recommend Bellingham, but Tierney is a beast as well. Defensively, he's very, very solid. A 97 acceleration with the balance 85. And all of these stats that you're seeing here, you can add a plus two because of the manager boost that you now get. That's guaranteed. It's not dependent on form anymore. It's not dependent on anything. It's guaranteed. So every single player that we build now, for example, Bellingham's true, when he's playing, his true stat is going to be 84 aggression. It's going to be 89 speed. It's going to be 85 balance plus two, which is 87. So any of these builds that you're seeing, right, is going to be that. Now, I also want to talk about a couple of standard players that you can build your team around. And as I said, I've already covered a lot of this in this definitive newcomers guide video and in the best CFs for all budgets, the best CBs for all budgets, the best left backs for all budgets and so on and so on and so on with the actual positions, right? For all budgets, there's, you know, bargain budget buys in there, there's hidden gems, there's players that, you know, are the top of the pops. 
um, in terms of price and, mo and the most value, right? But I want to talk about a couple of players that we have here. Um, you do get free standard cards as well. I never really pay too much heed to that. But I want to talk about a couple of the players here, right? So we're actually going to first take a look at Marquinhos, who is 180,000 GP. And you can see that when you train him up here, he's going to be a beast. You can actually get Marquinhos. I've, I bought Marquinhos in my first profile, my first onslaught of Division 1. We bought him in Division 8, I think. His standard card... And we didn't upgrade his card. I think we upgraded it to this one, which is very, very similar to this card here because he's got 21 levels. This guy's got 25, so they're very similar. Um, we didn't, like, we pretty much got to Division 1 with this standard Marquinhos card, right? He's an absolute beast. He has every player skill that you could want for a defender. And he's a defender that you can build around. He's really good in the air, even though he's he's quite small compared to the other guys uh, that are centre-backs like Van Dijk, Varane, any of Skriniar, any of those guys. Um, I would also say that that's probably one of the most important positions you need to fill early doors you know you can score goals of pretty much anyone with the way that the gameplay is but defensively you will notice a big uptick when you are using the likes of Marquinhos or anyone that's very versatile and has got good defense and strength there we also have Donnarumma this is a controversial one because people will say what about Courtois, Oblak, any of those pretty much Donnarumma is just a personal choice for me he won't let you down plus this is the build I've kind of favored with his standard card since eFootball 24's update you've got 92 reflexes and 85 awareness you don't need reach or jump because he's so tall he's 196 cm and then we also recommend Barrios now you're going to have to search for Barrios as I'm doing here you're going to have to go into the filter system you're going to have to go to nationalities you're going to have to go to South America and you are going to have to go to Colombia and then I think he's six on the list um down here Oh, he's seventh. That was a good guess. He's only 51,000 GP. He can play center back, DMF, RCMF, and he can play right back. He's a beast. Look at this defensive build that we have here. He's an anchor man. I would be playing in DMF and then be shoving him back a little bit if you get a lead or you want to hold on to a lead. Very, very solid. He's going to get the boost to speed, acceleration, jump, and physical contact that will see all of those stats into the 80 mark. And then, of course, we're going to have tackling and engagement boosted up to 90. So they're all going to be in the 90 mark as well. Passing and lofted pass, dribbling, all that. You don't really need that for an anchor man. But I would say that those are the three most important positions when you're starting to build a squad. You know, obviously pick your formation, pick your builds, all of that. Obviously, that can be covered with what we've already said here in this newcomer's build. The definitive guy goes through that kind of off the pitch. But on the pitch, you're going to want to have a really good, solid goalkeeper. One center back that's a beast for you, like nearly an end game. And then Barrios or somebody like that if you want to. You can also get Zakaria from the match pass or whatever, right? So I definitely recommend them. Now, moving on from that, lads, we want to take a look at some of the players that are going to be coming to whether or not to see whether they'll be worth your while. So a little preview of new cards that have been added to the DB. Okay, so a lot of new players have been added. Basically, any player that has been in eFootball 22 or any of the legends that they had the licenses for are going to be slowly but surely rolled out over the next couple of weeks, right, for the, for the content. All of these players here, as far as we kind of know, based on what they've, you know, released so far, are going to not be legends or epic players as is titled here. This needs to be updated, obviously, on eFootballDB. These are going to be boosters. So every player that you're going to see here, all of these have been added. Some will have, you know, their faces updated because they'll be coming sooner than later. Um, and then other players will be down the line. So you've got Maradona from Barcelona. We'll get into a couple of them here in a sec, right? But all of these are going to be the boosters. So they're going to have a plus booster to their stats. You know, we've seen this with Messi. We've seen this with other players here um, where we have every player, you know, with the booster or whatever. So they're all going to have the booster from here on in from what it looks like. Whether that booster will increase or decrease depending on the legend, that remains to be seen. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do that to kind of have more higher overalls. But let's see what happens. But they're all the legends that you see there. You can pretty much pause it there. We'll go into a couple of them there. You've had Shevchenko and Tati already released ex examples there. So basically just going through these quite quickly, you've got, you know, any player that was in Pez or eFootball or anyone that they still have the license for, the legend license for, is going to be repackaged as a better version or else a very similar version to what was released before as an epic, okay? So there'll be slight changes to their skills, their build-up, uh, playing style or whatever. Sometimes they'll have different ones, their stats, um, their overalls, anything like that. Their player levels aren't finalized yet, but you're going to see that these will all have boosters. So you've got Beckenbauer, you've got Petr Cech, you've got Michael Owen. These are all unreleased new versions that will potentially be coming. You've got Xavi, you've got Deco, you've got Hullet, you've got Mathaus, who's going to be an absolute demon. You've got Pirlo from Juventus. You've got Pavel Nedved, of course, who we saw in the trailer, Didier Drogba, the same, Zico, the same, who goes to 100 overall, 
Rui Costa is going to be a new one as a creative playmaker. He looks pretty decent. He's got excellent stats off the rip. And of course, we do have Dennis Burkamp making a return. Now, this one is going to be exciting, lads. We've got a 19-year-old Santos version of Neymar, right? We'll do another video on him. We'll talk about it. But look at his base stats if they stay the same. 88, 91, and 89 with 90 acceleration at level 1. This is level 1, obviously. So it needs to be... Uh, finalize and see what that actually does launch with we've also got Costa Curta who looks to be a beast as well he's got really high defensive stats straight off the rip except for aggression um so he'll probably be your versatile center back you've got Maradona who's 23 years of age at Barcelona as an SS and he's down as a classic number 10 and then we've got a couple of versions of Messi so we've got Miami version Messi um we've got another version of Miami Messi here and then we have this one here they're all big time they're all different ones um it seems to be so yeah Barcelona Barcelona, you can see different ones there. These is just obviously wrong here, but they're different versions of the card there. Um, you can see different ages and stuff, 35, 27, and 21. And then we have Guardiola, who we saw in the trailer as well. So yeah, there's lots to there's lots to get into. There's lots to discuss. Um, hopefully that is a bit of a preview of what's to come. Let me know what you guys think. Are you hype? Are you not hype? How does the gameplay go on for you? And hopefully you get a feel as well for the, you know, the squad and stuff. As I said, I've been trying out a lot of different squads. I still think DMF and having a really solid center back is, is probably the most important thing. I will have a full review up on this as well, including Highland, who is a beast. And we will have the full review on like we had for the Barcelona one tomorrow or else Tuesday. So if you are wondering about the club packs, I will be bringing them all out in a video. And we will be streaming, of course, as well Monday too. So that is it, lads. I will talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the daily content. Until next time, peace.